Board wipe! <laughs> they have zero cards in hand. We get to draw four. <laughs> yes, and they're at nine infect counters. Oh! Come on! <laughs> Do it. Uh, yeah. The blocking like this is fine. They get benefit out of white creatures more than red creatures. I'm gonna gain four cards, right? Yes! Hello everyone, welcome back from Top of the Wall. My name is Mason Knopp, and I have another deck for you today. This one is Mono Green Infect, and I am going to be playing just a few rounds in in uh in the uh, practice leagues today, just to just to like get a feel for the deck. This is um this is a version that had went five and zero, oh, and I had actually also just do a little bit of research. I watched uh, Sim City MTG also play. A similar version of this deck but he had cut the lotus petals for an additional land and to try uh senti uh sentia training or something yes it was a can it was a can tripping aura that gave plus one and trample to a creature i i wanted to try it with the lotus petals i feel the lotus petals are better because a lot of times as an infect deck, your deck you're winning with still like a couple extra cards in hand or sometimes an extra card in hand sometimes and i feel like i would rather have an accelerant to use uh, those cards earlier and having a Lotus Petal out to potentially win maybe one turn earlier sounds pretty good or uh, get a vital creature out just one turn earlier I I'm willing to uh, I'm willing to you know go down a, a card essentially just for one extra mana and that is that's what Lotus Petal is I'm I'm willing to sacrifice that so we have a bunch of pep pump spells in this deck and if you haven't um, seen uh, any of the infect decks in Popper recently, you would probably not realize that this is very different from the modern or legacy versions of infect. In fact, we're actually playing significantly more infect creatures, and we're focused on um, on actually just only being in the one color. Ever since the banning of Invigorate, I believe it was, uh, the deck hasn't really seen a, bun a lot of good numbers. It hasn't really been the same. And they were completely right to ban Invigorate. It was just, you could just win so easily. <laughs> just for four mana, just for uh, two mana, you could give a creature plus four, plus four, or you could give your opponent four life to give a creature plus four, plus four. So, Glistener Elf, attack, win turn two. Seems good. <laughs> seems legit. Uh, turn two win in Popper seems a little strong. So, they, they ban that, obviously. Now, we do have a bunch of pump spells, pump spells too. Uh, we still have a ton that we have to choose from, but this version in particular is trying to make use out of the Howl of the Hunger Pack. Howl, <laughs> Hunger of the Howl Pack. Uh, they, get, they get the Gurglies, and basically when, for one green mana, we get to put a plus one plus one counter on a creature, or if a creature died, which a lot of times a creature will die. There's plenty of instances that that happens in. We get to put three plus one plus one counters on to target creatures, so we get to make any of our infect creatures into a huge annoying threat that's more difficult to deal with, and to make sure that we have a way to trip, uh, to, you know, trigger, uh, morbid. We actually have a land of war auger, which is a giant growth on a body. Uh, for it's a zero three for one, and we uh, during our upkeep we can sacrifice it to give target creature plus three plus three and trample until the turn so it's evasion on top of that it's it's a lot better and it can be a blocker sure our opponent can see it coming but it's more mana for the turn when we actually try to kill our opponent we don't have to hold up we don't have to uh you know hold up all that mana at once we can actually start using mana from turns previous to um to start like investing that into the turns later uh, we have four Rancor because it's just an amazing staple, uh, a great card in the format. There's a lot of instances where we will not have a protection spell and one of our creatures will die with Rancor on it. We can get the Rancor back. It's not a solid two for one that our opponent takes from us. We also have Mutagenic Growth, a very, 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 very difficult card to read for because it is just one Phyrexian mana. So a lot of times we can just pay the two life and bump and just bump up one of our creatures. Now... For the infect creatures of the deck, we have the four staple uh, Glistener Elves. 
The Glistener Elf is just a 1-1 with Infect for 1, which is already very powerful. Uh, it's pretty much in every green Infect deck that has ever existed because of how good it is. We also have the Iker Claw Mirror. Whenever a creature uh, blocks it, it gets plus 2, plus 2. So it is... Uh, I can figure out what the old keyword is. It's not Rampage. It's, it, I, think it's, I think it's Berserk is the old keyword. Uh, it gets a, that nice bump in power, which makes it more powerful. It um, it kind of gets around some of the early blockers because of that punishing ability sometimes. You know, we also have a Blight Mamba which, with uh, Regenerate on, onto it. Uh, so it has its own kind of built-in protection, which is really nice. Uh, the Rot Wolf is there because when we start to attack with it and we're attacking with a couple of creatures, it can be one of the most punishing creatures to end up blocking. And if they have to start chump blocking it, we get to draw cards out of it, which means we get to find more protection spells. We get to find more creatures, more pump spells, which is everything that we want. We get to find more evasion too, which is even better. I'm all for uh, a little Rot Wolf action. Now, for the sideboard, the things that we are probably afraid of, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, by the way, I'm guessing that we're probably afraid of a lot of early game creatures that will have an effect on the game. So we, for that, we have some gut shots. Um, I do think that this is something that we do want to board in against Delver. Uh, it, is, it, is a, it is a card that only costs us two life, which we don't usually care about that much. And we can ping a Delver or get rid of a Spellsitter Sprite, which seems worth it. Like, if one of our spells is about to get countered by Spellsitter Sprite, and Spellsitter Sprite's the only thing on the board, then uh, it can only it will counter a card with converted mana cost one which our opponent is planning on. But if we gut shot it to death, then it counts counters a spell with converted mag cost zero or less. So it would literally have to just be targeting a Lotus spell, which is not the biggest problem to us. We probably wouldn't do anything about that anyway. Um, we have Nature's Claim because it's an amazing card in an Infect deck. We don't care if our opponent gains life. They can get a million life. Dying from 10, in 10 Infect counters, 10 Poison counters, you can have a million life. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, we can actually be raced down by Burn, which is a more popular deck in the format than us. So we have the Weather the Storm. We have three Weather the Storm because it's very important. Uh, Epic Confrontation is a good fight spell to fight our opponent's creatures. I would bring this in against mid-range uh, because a lot of times they can end up playing some creatures that are larger than our creatures. Like, the biggest creature in our deck is is a Rot Wolf. Uh, Get Claw and Mirror when blocked, yeah, sure, it gets to the size of a 3-3, but a lot of times they have some larger creatures, so having something like Epic Confrontation come in and challenge our opponent to find more blockers can be a good way. Plus, that little pump does mean one extra infect counter, and sometimes it can help us close out the game. Each infect counter is way more important than one damage uh, compared to life totals. The Viridian Longbow is also there. I think it's there uh, for more mid-range matchups and heavier creature matchups. Because with our infect creatures, we actually get to not just deal the one damage, we deal one minus one minus one counter, or an infect counter to our opponent's face. I, I think that it gets around some of the, the uh, flicker shenanigans, but I also think that it can be used in some of the mid-range match, mid matchups to um, change up combat a little bit, and you know just sort of swing in with Blight Mamba. If they dare to block it, we can regenerate it. And we get to put that counter on it, and then we get to shoot their creature, and it's now two minus one minus one counters. I I think that's, I think that might be more so what it's for. I'm trying to find that out. Uh, we have the corpse cur here, which in the late game, as we get more mana, we can pay the four, play this creature, and then we get another infect creature back, and we can uh, we can rebuild our board, which is rather important. I I like this card. The that is the deck. So I am trying to grow the channel as much as possible and make it the best that it can be. So if you could do me a favor and just hit the subscribe button and we'll get into the gameplay right now. All right, and just like that, we have our first victim. Uh, they are deciding whether to play or not. That is unfortunate. We want to be on the play. We want to kill our opponent and that's a Nicol Bolas. <laughs> Come on, please say tap land go, tap land go. That would be great if you could just do that. Don't get me wrong, I, I want to play a game of Magic against my opponent. I want them to do stuff, and that's the way more interesting game to see. But, at the same time, I also want to win. <laughs> and I want to be a gentleman, so hello. Hi. Ooh, we have Glistener Elf, we have some pump spells. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. It seems good. Oh yeah, Geo. Oh, I see. Boros. Boros. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I'll run out Glistener Elf here. <laughs> I I think they figured it out. <laughs> I think they're thinking, "Ha! Oh, what the hell do I do against this?" <laughs> I'm testing this deck, but I I usually play with Mono Blue Desert. Oh, okay. Ah, Golem Desert. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I play lands. <laughs> I like lands. <laughs> oh, all right. They they're gonna bust the vault. I'm guessing. Oh no, Icar Wellspring. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm gonna let you hit me, but they don't know that. <laughs> Oh, that's good, that's good. I would like to wait for Blight Mamba. I don't want to completely tap out and let them get their choice of Lightning Bolt targets. Uh, I don't think I really want to apply pressure against Thraben Inspector here. Um, I'm just going to like, I would just burn a, a, a Hunger of the Howl pack. I don't think that's particularly worth it. No thanks. I don't really want to trade and make that a 0-1 that still blocks. Doesn't seem like a great idea. And did I drink out of this thing when I have this thing? They're not even the same drink. This is root beer with strawberry flavoring in it. <laughs> not... Oh, yeah, Glintock. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Draw some cards. God, uh... That's gonna be... Three draws avail- yeah, okay. Oh no wait, they haven't drawn with the clue token yet. Yeah, no, so that's fine. Oh, that's annoying if that's in the way. I, I definitely think I want to board in Rancor. Hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I think I, I think I want to play a Rancor here and poke. I think I do want to play ran here, Rancor here and poke. Um, yeah, because right now, um, does seem safe, and then I could hold up Vines of the Vastwood, potentially get in for a good amount. No, I don't, I don't want to be greedy, I don't want to be greedy here, but I will, I'll just, I'll just very, very casually. <laughs> Rancor, excuse me, Rancor, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. I can't. Mm, no, no, don't. I better not. I better not tempt the fates here. They they have eight bolts in their deck. Plus Journey to Nowheres. I really should hold up mana, mana for... I gotta hold up the mana is for these vines. They're thinking about cards. They're looking at cards. Good, I like that. No, thank you. Uh, I would like to cast. You may resolve. No red sources. That's good. That's good. I like that. Oh god, Acre Wellspring again. <laughs> Why do they stop putting in golden egg, but they put in the, um, they put in the, the, what are they called? Oh god, no attacks? <laughs> they're curious about poking in, but they're like, uh, shouldn't risk it. Just in case. <laughs> they're waiting for that explosive turn. Where we're just like, uh, they're just going to, I'll, I'll attack. I'll attack like this. Okay. 
Some pokes are coming in. Oh my god. So wait a minute. Vines of the Vastwood kicked. Um, I would like to actually kill that core skyfisher first. Um, so let's see. This is... I need seven damage. Vines of the Vastwood provides that. Does my creature live? I think it does not. Uh, I'll, I'll hunger of the hell pack, though. I'll cast with kicker. Uh, I'll, I'll shoot that one. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that's enough to kill all their creatures. And... Excuse me. I would really like to hunger the howl pack here. Save my creature. This feels good. And they take one infect. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Wrath spell. <laughs> God, I really wish you didn't draw this forest. I really wish this had been a lotus petal or something. Find yourself a blocker. That is not Journey to Nowhere, and that's not Lightning Bolt. That's good. That's not, that's nothing. It seems like they don't have it. Desperation, crack the clue. Find zero lands, find zero useful cards. Let me have this. <laughs> They've gotten the chance to play magic. They don't need to, oh, what do they, don't, don't use that mana. Could all the rebirth, okay. Well, okay, I guess. I'll slowly, have to chip away at those, I guess, with the Blight Mamba. Okay, one white goes to what? Glintok? Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, there's Glintok. I think this is like a combination of Cold Boros and Bully. Because I don't think Bully plays Glintok. They play uh, Monastery Mentors. I'm not saying that this deck doesn't have both. Augur. Well, well. We'll, we'll play a nice... Um... I, don't, I think that they'd be willing to trade everything to try to kill this. So, you know, I'm willing to play out my hand here. Uh, you know, that was... No, I think this is right. Play Blight Mamba. Uh, I'm going to offer them the chance to trade a couple of these for this or... Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait it. I'll wait on it. I'll just wait on it. I got some time. I can pump both of I can pump this one during my upkeep. Prophetic Prism. You have access to white mana. Sure. Bolt or Galvanic Blast. If I get Rancor on this, this thing becomes a much bigger problem. I just gotta remember to hold up mana for it. Um, oh yeah, okay, that's a that's a good choice. That's a good choice. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. They use both bolts. Uh, yes. All of, all of the stuff. Okay. I think we can take that, that off. Um, I think I'll get in. Uh, I think I will get in. Uh, after, of course. Just Rancor here. 
Don't pull it in response. Good job. We'll sack. What do you lose? <laughs> no blocks. Sure. They might play Rally. Uh, that's that's still not enough. I mean, Rally doesn't do it. They would have to Galvanic Blast plus Bolts Rally. Okay. Maybe if they did it twice, it might kill me. I'll, I'll play this just in case. Ah. Better. I can kill them slightly faster now. Okay, you get a clue. Radiant found. That don't do it. That don't show the Phyrexians nothing. <laughs> Prophetic Prism. Yeah, you draw those cards. So wait a minute, if they weren't gonna block, then why did they not attack? They probably didn't want to signal that it was completely safe to do something. Okay, the core sky fisher, sure. I'm still worried about rally. I'm gonna to have to probably bring in the fight spells. All right. Come on, pump spell. Oh yes, yes, yes. This isn't death yet. But I really want it to be. We can re I can regenerate both. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Wait, they know that's not... Alright, they're just trying to absorb as much as possible. Oh, uh... Well, this one first, obviously... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I am a, I'm worried about Rally. I might want to pick off three tokens and then a Glintalk. I mean, either way, I'm removing a lot of power from the board. Um, I think I would rather just go for bodies. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Um, yeah. I mean, I can't kill them uh, with this mutagenic growth yet, so I'm not going to use it yet. They haven't, they haven't found Bolt, I don't think. They might have just now. Yeah, I think strawberries with with mug root beer is <laughs> is is pretty good. <laughs> oh, uh, Iker Wellspring. I will allow you to. I will. I will bury you with that Icar Wellspring. Forgotten Cave. Sure. Uh. Okay. So they've used three of them. Statistically, last one. Okay. There is that one. What did I just do? Regenerate. You find another one. Okay. Sure. Okay, and as long as they don't have another bolt. Okay, they found they've used five of their bolts. It's a lot. Oh good, now uh, we get a couple layers of protection. Uh, yeah, we'll... Uh... Let's do this. Cool. We'll move to combat. Come on. Just let it go. <laughs> Just let it go. <laughs> oh, darn it. Uh, all right. All right. Man, 
I really wanted to, I really wanted them to just not block and go, all right, we'll be at eight infect. It's fine. We'll find another bolt. <laughs> God, they're looking so hard for Journey to Nowhere, and there's I know that they're close to finding it. Don't don't find Journey to Nowhere. You don't need to do that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yes. That's what you want. And I want I went to try mug root beer, but with passion fruits <laughs> flavoring in it. <laughs> uh, I still think that this Icker Wellspring would be better as a golden egg. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Kodaltha Rebirth birth is awesome, but I guess I just might not like Koldaltha Rebirth very much. But again, it, it's enough of a reason for some people to want to uh, play um, fewer edicts and more targeted removal because the tokens are not super great. Oh, okay. Okay, we get to just attack again. Attack. Okay. Yep, you make the same trade. I'm not going to reveal the Lotus Petal. Um, I'd rather just say, think that they that there's a bunch of protection spells in my hand. And make them take their time. Because if they take their time and wait long enough, then there's a good chance that by the time that they've... After all this time that they've waited, um, I might have found something. And then they're, uh, they're like, they're, uh, like, darn it, they had it all along. I'd rather have them, like, think that. Don't. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like that this thing has a glass bottom. I can watch the game. <laughs> and, um, and, and drink my drink. Okay. You could flashback, but you don't. You want the maximum amount of toughness on board. Sure. Oh, a rot wolf. Okay. This might be a good reason. This might be a pretty good reason. Um, I'm willing to... I'm just going to attack. I, I'm, I'm willing to attack. I'm just going to swing like this. Try to eat some cards. And... Okay. Yeah. Yes. Good. Blight Mama, good job. Doing God's work. <laughs> Sorry. Elish Noren's work. Same thing in Phyrexia. I would like to play Lotus Petal and leave up one layer of protection for this Blight Mamba. But I'm very concerned that it will actually be quite devastating. I'll cast this. Come on. Okay. Rotwolf. Okay. Diversify some damage. <clears throat> this can escape Bolt. They've already used two Galvanic Blast. I mean, they more likely have a Galvanic Blast at this point than a Lightning Bolt. Kaldotha Rebirth. Ah, find more cards. Alright, fine, fine. One layer of protection for Regenerate. Uh, this escapes... Bolt with mutagenic growth. Fire blast. No, no. Uh, green? No. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, they still probably have enough. Now they get to witness mutagenic growth when they try to use it again. I think they tap out for that. And wait a minute, um, this, this, uh, Battle Screech requires three, tapping three white creatures. Okay, so, 
They can't use Battle Screech yet. They have to choose to use Fire Blast. They can't use Bolt and Fire Blast flashed back. <sighs> Alright. It's do or die. Start do or die. No, not Journey to Nowhere. Come on. Aw. Man. Aw, I found it. I found it. Okay. Man. All right, whatever. It's okay. Oh, double Rancor. Zero cards in hand. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna eat, a, we're gonna get a lot of cards. Oh wait, hold on. Undo, oh. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Uh, I just kinda wanna use, make use of the green mana floating. Reel it. We're gonna draw some cards here. <laughs> okay. Move to attacks. Board wipe! <laughs> they have zero cards in hand. We get to draw four. <laughs> yes! And they're at nine infect counters. Oh! Come on! <laughs> Do it. Uh, yeah. The blocking like this is fine. They get benefit out of white creatures more than red creatures. I'm gonna gain... Four cards, right? Yes! Yeah, let me see them cards. And we get Rancors too? Oh, oh yeah. Always yield. Yes! <laughs> oh, I think yes. Hmm, <laughs> we, we can play Acre Claw Mirror. Oh, and Land per turn. Uh, we can get a lot of Mm-hmm. <laughs> Iker Claw Mirror. I'd like to pass like this. I don't think that there's anything that we can draw where we might, you know, we're not super tight on mana. I'd rather have them think that we have double protection spell up or something. Yeah. Pass turn like this. Rotwolf! For the win! <laughs> Alright, I think that the... I think that there's no draws that they could have. This is an awesome game. It it is. Oh man, I do I do like playing new decks, and I have not played. Oh, okay, hey. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I um I'll pay here and I'll pay here. Um, we'll choose from red. I don't think that they drew... God, drawing two Journey to Nowhere in a row would be insane. Yes! Oh, thank God. Alright. Oh, that was awesome. I want Epic Confrontations. I don't think I care too much about Nature's Claim, but it would be really funny to, uh, one green mana. Get rid of your Prophetic Prism. And then, like, right as they're playing Core, Core Sky Fisher, get rid of Prophetic Prism or, like, blow up your first land. Like, oh, that would be amazing. I can't do that. I can't have that. Not allowed. Not allowed to have fun things like that happen ever. <laughs> the, if I side those in, what's going to happen is they're probably going to say, MTGO is probably going to say, Oh yeah, no, they don't draw any artifact lands that game. Heck, they don't even get any artifacts. <laughs> Besides Acre Wellspring. Uh, we should... Hmm. I don't know what's what's better to cut. Um, I think Hunger the Help Pack gets a little worse. Um, there's a lot of times when Mutagenic Growth didn't wasn't panning out like I wanted it to. Um, Epic Confrontation is awesome. 
I think um, Corpse Car is also pretty good. But you know what? Um, getting rid of Hunger of the Howl Pack might be correct. And going down a Lanar Augur. Because it has a difficult time blocking a lot of the better creatures that they have in the air. And they're holding up all of their creatures to block. They're committing so much to blocking that I feel pretty comfortable with not uh, having this. I d we saw half of the deck. They didn't have Rally. Um... They definitely didn't have Rally. They were even empty-handed. I don't think that, that it's necessary. I will chuck out a... <clears throat> yeah, another uh, Land of War Augur. And... Metagenic Growth. Sure, we'll, we'll cut it like that. This is a little bit better. I think a lot of creatures are still going to die. I think the augers are still decent, but just cutting uh, eat a few of each might be better. Especially because I don't know what I'm doing entirely with this deck. So, you know, I'm not the person that went 5-0 and with the list. It went, somebody else went 5-0 and with it. And I didn't get to watch. So, I have to guess. <laughs> I'm glad that they uh, they play... What is it? Um, I have to mulligan this, I think. A one lander with... No one drop. Glistener Elf. This is a little awkward. I don't like this too much. We'll keep this. I will put... One forest on the bottom, I think. No, I'll put uh, a tranquil thicket on the bottom. I was going to cycle that one away anyway. Yeah. I, I want more mana for... Uh, more layers of protection for Blight Mamba anyway. To at least get one up. And I'm not going to... Oh, hey, Rotwolf. What's going on? Glad you're here, buddy. We can We can have fun together. Next turn, it would be awesome to have a uh, Glistener Elf. I'm going to tell them nice life gain. Oh, Thraven Inspector, darn you. Nice life gain there. <laughs> God... This, uh, this tap land. Might as well be a gate. Might as well just be a guild gate. Yep, sure. I'm not, I'm not gonna pump that if that's what you're expecting. <laughs> Ooh, Blight Mamba. Hmm. They'll probably blow a bolt on this. This is a really powerful creature against them. I'm not gonna risk it. I'd rather play a much more controlling game where their bolts have to literally be a two, I mean a one for two. They have to trade two bolts for one creature versus a bunch of our mana. Okay, Prophetic Prism. Sure. That's good news. I like that. I think that what they might want to be doing is they might want to be leaving up the red mana, wait for us to play creature... Um, and then once they've played, uh, once we've played, uh, a infect creature on our turn, they bolt it, untap, if it didn't die, then they can bolt it again on their turn. Yeah, no, that seems fine. I would like an Acre Claw Mirror. Excuse me. Coming down, coming through. No need to worry. It's just a little prick. It's just, it's just a little, little, just, <laughs> just a little. See, it's nothing to worry about. 
It's just, it's just like getting a shot at the doctors. <laughs> I mean, he's even reaching up for a high five. Oh, Galvanic Blast. Uh, we have a couple other Infa creatures in our hand. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I'm willing to let that go. Of course, Guy Fisher. Hey. Hey, hey. Welcome. I'd rather use it on something more powerful like Rotwolf. And give the impression that I don't have... <laughs> hey, look at that! <laughs> look who's at the party. Uh, Blight Mamba. Or we could go... We could go Rotwolf. I'd like to go Rotwolf. I think Iker Claw and Mirror might have been smarter there. <laughs> Don't complain that Infect is unfair. <laughs> Don't complain that Infect is unfair. We, we're having to play quite a game here against this. This is, they do have the advantage, I believe, but I don't think that they know how to play against Infect. They should be, um, maybe prioritizing attacking in the air a little bit more. And packing, because there were, oh. Ah, yeah, no, we still deal damage in the form of counter, counters. Um, I think this still counts. Nice. Damn it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Sure. Another rot wolf. Cool. Um I'm gonna go ahead and move to attacks. I just I just wanna see if it works. But then again, if they're willing to trade this to uh you know prevent nothing, that's also fine. Go ahead, use the thing. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this thing works. I just I just need to make sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, that, that did exactly what I thought it did. I had to test. Okay, I concede. Um, I think they have more than enough mana for the rest of the game to to stop our creatures. They they have the advantage. They can just um, repeatedly draw cards, build their mana base. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and concede. They they got it. They got the one card that literally locks us out. Right, so these epic confrontations might not be as good as these nature's claims because these nature's claims get rid of that one spell that screw us over permanently. Uh, and I'm also willing to cut the Viridian Longbow in exchange for... Um, Epic Confrontation. It prevents damage to players, right? Yeah. Not creatures. Super. Yeah, we'll, we'll play it like this. Yeah, that works. Oh, they checked on Gatherer before they sighted in. <laughs> yeah. I knew it it worked. I just I um I just needed to make sure. I need to verify. I will I'll 
be definitely willing to either strip mine them for one mana really early in the game, or I get to uh, destroy a uh, circle of protection green. Yeah, seems fine. <laughs> I really hope that they're not checking gather again and just going like, huh, is there any... Is there any way that five of them, like, uh, another... Is there any way that the other three Circle of Protection Greens in my deck would would help? <laughs> to, to multiple layers, layers of Circle of Protection Green help out in this matchup? Maybe. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, boy. Spreading the, the glorious... The glorious hymns of Phyrexia. What do they, what do they call them? Uh, conscripts. Conscripts, yeah. The glorious uh, uh, <laughs> hymns of the conscript. Yeah, they're um, they're their religious readings or something. Oh, okay. I would like to play first. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I see some powerful creatures. I am willing to keep it. Don't, don't, uh, I'll, I'll play this one first. Just now, don't screw me over here, MTG. Don't give them Circle of Protection Green on turn two and let them do whatever they want. It's just, it just seems like a good hand. All right. Iker Claw Mirror. Yeah, I realized Iker Claw Mirror was a way to get through that, wasn't it? But I didn't think about that because I'm mono green. Me don't think, me just punch. Use Bolt, sure. <clears throat> okay. No, I think I have to be very protective of some of these creatures. All right, I'll I'll keep Iker Claw here because I just realized that's the way to get through. Uh, I'll also keep hold on. I'll keep a grip on these creatures. Hope I draw into Rancor. God, <laughs> multiple Rancors last game were awesome. <laughs> Oh boy, just swinging in for eight infect. Glorious, glorious infect counters. I would like a pump spell, please. Crack that clue. Or actually, Nature's Claim would, would be even better. We'll play Blight Mamba. Uh, with we can cycle Tranquil Thicket in a meaningful way, unlike the Cycling Storm deck. Okay, you're going to Fire Blast that. Regenerate. Do you have another Bolt? I think I'm willing to trade two of them. Or actually, Journey to Nowhere? Oh, you have just double Firebolt. Great. That's pretty good. Wait, they have two in the deck? I thought they only played one. All right. Uh, tap this down, play Prism. Or Core Skyfisher and recycle the ability of Thraven Inspector. No. Nope. Sure. Hunger of the Howl Pact is here. Alright, that is unfortunate that uh, Blight Mama got destroyed. Uh, 
Um, maybe I should run out both of these creatures. They've they don't have the mana next turn to play these out of the yard. So I have a second. And they did just use uh, three removal spells. So the field's a little safer. I'll play Rot Wolf. And at end of turn, I can cycle Trinkle Thicket. They haven't bolted this yet. They're, they were looking for it. They're thinking about how much they're willing to sacrifice some things uh, in order to stop this Rot Wolf. Kodaltha Rebirth draws them another card. Ouch. <clears throat> I bet that they have 5th land drop. Glintalk. Ooh. They have gone aggro. Ha. Huh. I would like to eat a token, please. We're not. We're not. We don't we don't have to do that. I would like I would like to eat a token if you would be so kind. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. You don't need well, just attack with that one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You don't need to do this. <laughs> you don't need to gain an advantage. You don't need to do anything. I'm going to set up uh, Lanawar Augur. And I'm going to set up... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the Iker Claw Mirror. God, attacking. I know they'll block with everything. <laughs> I know the block with everything. They're certain that I have a pump spell in hand, and they're right. <laughs> so I'm not going for it. Not yet. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, you attack with those two, sure. You gracefully pecked me in the air for... for four. Oh, wait. I'll keep... Don't use that. Ah, there's that. There's that annoying card. I don't like that card. Uh, I can make this thing huge. Okay, Glenthawk. They only have the one mana, right? Okay. I only have one mana. They can stop this. They can't stop this. They have to block. I'd like to sacrifice, give this a pump. And then demand Galvanic Blast. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Preemptive GG. <laughs> Gotta trick him. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll throw that in. I'll also... Throw this in to spice up the deal. Which do you choose? They're gonna fog this one. They're probably gonna put everything on this to block. Okay, on to this one. You do have to block here. Good, 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 good. Good. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. This thing has trample and it gets pumped for each one of those. So that's 10? <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> this one first. Oh, it becomes blocked. Oh, not per creature, just by one. Um, it will play Hunger of the Howl Pack on this one. I think this saves it.
Yeah, that's good. That's what we want. Two infect counters on our opponent. <laughs> Alright, they only have three mana. Okay, you cycle. That's not a that's a kind of a good sign that they're digging so much. They're willing to forgo a land drop just to find a bolt. It means that they are desperate. And they're re they're using the red mana first. They wanna hopefully keep up the one mana for this, but also have a red mana for this. Okay, yeah, we know that one was there. Why did it not show it really should show um Revealed cards in hand. They feel safe. Because they have a core sky fisher. And then you're going to pick that up? You're going to pick this up? You're going to pick that up. Pump spell. Pump spell, please. Come on. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should remove this. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it all. MTG. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I guess I attack again. Jeez. All right. Yep. You fog the one wolf. Block here, good. God, because they could, they could untap, hit me for six, and I, st I'm still in a race with them, very much. This is three turn clock. If they find a bolt, it's a two turn clock. That's faster than what I can do. Uh, I really hope that nature's claim comes in. Right when they've tapped out both of their creatures. For an attack. Okay. Windscard Craig. Oh, okay. They're out of they're out of other creatures. They're willing to chump with the Glint Hawk. Oh, okay. Yeah, this doesn't target. Darn it. Uh, I will play Forest. Suggest that's what I drew. And I'll attack like normal. I'll hold this up as a protection spell. I don't want to use it for evasion. It's it's better that I just use it as a protection spell. It's more likely that they're going to, you know, end up playing Bolt on it. Kill it or something. Sure. Six. Nope, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Now, don't give me Lotus Petal. Okay, Prophetic Prism, sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the intensity of each one of those draws. Okay, you use Garrison to pick up Garrison? Nope. Thought of creatures. Darn it, not a lotus petal. Oh, God. Damn it. Damn it all. <laughs> Flood. Okay, uh, attack. Attack with both. Yeah, all right, all right. Attacking with both. You use this to fog. And they do nothing with the white. I think they're definitely signaling that they have no removal spell uh, for this. And I would very much like to signal that I have pump spells aplenty, but I'm afraid when I have nothing. 
the master of lies and, and deceit. Here I am. <laughs> With, uh... Oh, God, maybe I should have, uh... Held up the land. I don't know, maybe, like, I had groundswell or something. You know. Just pretend, like, I might have something in my deck that they don't know about or whatnot. Intensify the pump spell. Angelic Purge? Uh... I would... Very much like to get rid of... I would like... I'd like to protect myself? Okay. Okay, I'm very much within range of getting... Galvanic Blasted out of existence. I think they brought in all of the catch-all removals spells that are just viable here. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> all of the cards, huh? <laughs> You've given me over half the lands of my deck in the top 18 cards. Yeah, you've done this. I should have kept the other Tranquil Thicket. I mean, uh, I should have, um, done something else. I mean, don't bolt. Damn it. <laughs> okay. They got it. If I F6 here, they can't kill me in time, I don't think. <laughs> what? They really should be bolting my, just Galvanic Blasting my face, I think. Wait, did that, that did they not have Metalcraft? They didn't have Metalcraft? Oh. Oh, yeah. Sure, they didn't have Metalcraft. Okay. Damn, now it's a staring contest. Of which I will probably win. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably do the same. Yeah, you gained that life. Yeah, you, you take that. Okay. I can literally just probably, you know, hold this up as a blocker for this and they won't, they won't attack into it. How many, uh, core sky fishes do they go through? Um, oh, okay. So they went through... Four? Yeah, they went through four. Okay. All right, sure. So we have three layers of protection for this Blight Mamba. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need to... We don't need to do anything about this. God, they actually had the win. They could have Galvanic Blasted us. Uh, and Fire Blasted us. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about, um, what, what was it called? Firebolt? Yeah, I completely forgot about Firebolt. A fire Blast. Oh, hey, Journey to Nowhere. Good. Glad you could join the party. I'm just going to let them know about the time. GG. Okay, <laughs> you got it. Even if I sixed here, just because, you know, Magic the Gathering Online doesn't feel very smooth. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, sure. Zero. Oh, so they died while it was on. The, they died while it was trying to tap and get me at the last second. Oh, that was great. I didn't time out this time. Somebody else did. <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was amazing. I, I'll, I'll record a couple more videos of this match. I just want to post this one uh, for now. Get this one out a little earlier. I'll record more matches, post them up throughout the rest of the day. Ah... Uh, Glorious, in fact.
I also want to know your guys' opinion on, um, let me see if I can pull up the card here. Uh, Groundswell. It is a landfall card. Keep in mind, we're very, we're very low on, um, on lands here. We're only at 18 lands. We can't always, we can consistently get our land drops to some degree, I think. And Groundswell feels, you know, it's, it's a really good pump spell. It's definitely better than Giant Growth. I'd play it over Giant Growth. It's uh, one of the one of the pump spells that a lot of um, infect decks use, but I don't know if it is right for this deck. I feel like over a lot of the other ones, sure. Um, but I also like where Llanowar Augur is right now. I like where Rancor is. I like Mutagenic Growth. But the sheer potency of Groundswell might be just slightly better than Hunger of the Halpack. We're set up for a later game. To peck our opponent, you know, like punch our opponent to death with infect counters and go through them. Uh, it might it might just be uh, worth it for the sheer potency. But a lot of uh, decks that go for sheer potency and have groundswell in them and giant growths don't exactly have the greatest um, win rates all of the time. And I think that that kind of speaks to uh, how easy it is to just like hold up double removal spells with how efficient the removal is in this format. It's not too difficult to hold up double bolts or uh, consistently just threaten to remove something. I mean, we have eight protection spells in this deck for a reason. Mm. It's, a, it's a big maybe. It's a big maybe. Alright, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Coming in for that face, oh no, come on, come on in for that face touch. There we go, set up.